everyone, today I will be doing a quick review of a little mock or a school project that I've been working on. It was part of a challenge where we had to build anything we wanted. So I decided to draw inspiration from uh, lockdown I guess and decided to make a safe. A safe is meant to keep people safe inside, oh things not people, safe inside by locking them in. That's what lockdown is. And just to further represent the whole lockdown thing, I put some little COVID clusters around the uh, edges of the safe and on the sides. Quite finicky. I've made two different variants. A small, a small COVID cluster here and a larger one. Now there is a hidden feature in one of these COVID clusters on the safe, but, but I'll show you that later. Now, oh. now like all good working safes, there's a handle that locks and unlocks the safe. Here you can see the locking mechanism. Just by turning the handle, you can move this little beam here and the beam will move into a hole right there in the wall. And unfortunately, the, the safe handle doesn't turn that much, so it's not the most realistic, but it still locks. Now on the inside, you can see a, a few things. <laughs> the first thing you actually see is this uh, boy, but ignore him for now. You want to be focusing on this carpet here and the man almost working at the computer. He's got a coffee mug. And that's actually Lord Business. I've used him to kind of represent, well, business. He's in a bit of a conference call online. If I if I were to move him out of the way, you would see like that yellow square head there and a body with an arm pointing at a vent piece with a black background. Like the, the black background there on the vent piece is meant to represent like comical text basically to represent that someone's actually pointing at something and explaining it. To kind of give the feeling of a Zoom call or a conference meeting. Now back to the rug. <laughs> I put a few rolls of toilet paper there, just for a further nod. Uh, there's also a dog, but <laughs> don't mind the dog doing. <laughs> yeah. Now there's another mini COVID cluster that has managed to get onto the inside. I put a bottle of hand sanitizer next to it, soaking the COVID cluster in sanitizer. Yeah, there you can see a sausage on the grill. There's actually some orange elements underneath the grill to indicate that it is on, but from this angle you can't quite see it. Yeah. There's also a hot dog there on the bench. And further down, more towards Lord Business, where the kitchen is. You can see a dishwasher with a glass on top, a bottle of mustard and ketchup. Oh, we call it tomato sauce here, but <laughs> yeah. And there's also a sink down there. On top of the fridge, that grey box. On top of the fridge there, you can't see it. It's hidden by the uh, it's hidden by the vent, but on, oh, you can just see the edge of it. On top of the fridge is like a. Uh, See, like a jam tart kind of thing, <laughs> just to represent that the kitchen is fully stacked because of all that panic buying, just buying everything in the supermarket and not having place inside the kitchen for all of that stuff. <laughs> okay. So now moving on to the boys' bedroom, there's a little lava lamp in the corner on the box there. There's a bed with yellow and white stripes, a, an, a, another dog, and now the main focus. In, it's the boy. So I've tried to represent kind of dreams and imagination. On the t-shirt you can see like an astronaut. He's wearing a space helmet. He's got a jetpack. His dream is to grow up and be an astronaut. But because of lockdown his imagination has run wild. And this is what he sees. A jetpack. <laughs> of course this wouldn't be real but you know. He's done it on the bed. Let him pretend who he is. Now behind the uh, boy, I just move him out of the way. You can actually see a door 
Inside is a toilet with a drain on top. Of course, there's still no space because of panic buying, so we had to put stuff in the toilet. Or on the toilet. Now for the hidden feature. If you come out of the box and look at the very top, and you may have seen it, but I accidentally knocked this over. Underneath this is a button to activate a an old Exoforce light from the Fire Vulture set. Very old, but it still works because we replaced the batteries. And if you go back down to the toilet, <laughs> I'm not sure why I did this. I was feeling a bit lazy, so I decided to do something fun. But when you press this COVID cluster here, the toilet lights up. Can't really see it that well on this light, but if you get closer, you might be able to see it. Yeah, it's quite bright outside, so you might not be able to see it. In person, it's a lot brighter though. Yeah, I've actually used a one of the, I've actually used a clear tube that loops down from the uh, light up here and loops down into the toilet, facing downwards. And I've used a couple of those uh, studio light pieces from a set to kind of try and reflect all the light. And that is that, ref oh you can't see it now, I don't think I can show you, but there's a little flap with some reflective dots on it to help just reflect the light downwards. <laughs> there's not much else to this little mock, but I spent a lot of time on it. <laughs> it took lots of time to get these walls perfect, like a lot of time had to redo it three times. Plus I didn't have enough pieces to make them completely flat. But yeah, it took so much time to get this right. And yeah, uh, I hope you enjoy, I hope you enjoy this little review and yeah, I just hope you've enjoyed seeing what I've been doing for the past few days. Yeah, there will be a couple more reviews coming soon and you'll find out what they are. I've been doing a lot of modifying recently and a lot of creating on my own. Well, uh, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.